Hey, welcome back to Connected Mobile Life. This is just a short video, uh, just as uh, part three. Uh, in the last video, I, I mentioned that I was going to be installing the Lithionics battery, uh, and it's done. It turned out to be much faster uh, than I had expected. Uh, so I just put together a short video just to show you how I installed it and, and how to wire it. Uh, so I just want to put that together. Uh, uh, the next next step is going to be delayed. I, I was uh, planning on upgrading the uh, inverter to uh, the Xantrex. It was a combination inverter charger. Uh, I was going to do, do 2,000 watt, and last minute I've just decided I'm going to go to 3,000 watt. Uh, so I ordered another one. I ordered a 3,000 watt. I'm going to be uh, returning my 2,000 that I bought. Uh, I figure if I'm going to go through that much uh, trouble, I might as well make it 3,000 watts and uh, uh, improve the performance of the, of the microwave. Uh, so right now, microwave, I turn it on it, and it cuts off sometimes because uh, it, it exceeds the uh, current of the 2,000 watt uh, inverter as a, as a surge uh, uh, current draw. So, uh, got that to look forward to. Uh, for now, here's the uh, install of the Lithionix battery, uh, just as in terms of phase one uh, of my install. Okay, so phase one of the uh, Lithionics install is, is complete. So here we have the 315 amp uh, battery. And all I've done for now is I've uh, put some spacers here against the uh, sofa leg just to brace it. And I have a uh, just a strap strapping it to the, to the leg there to hold this in so it doesn't move. It's, it's 80 pounds, it's not gonna move anywhere. So the intent of this is just a temporary install so give me power so I can get out in the van while I uh, while I take these, uh, remove the existing batteries and rebuild this battery box area. Uh, so for now, it's uh, I'm using a one aught cable. So pleasure we was using a two gauge wire uh, everywhere for the batteries. That's the battery in interconnect. Um, so I upped it to uh, one aught so to make sure I can handle 250 amps uh, going into the system. So. As I upgrade the, the power systems, I'm also upgrading wire sizes to handle increased uh, current ca uh, capacity. Um, it's important to me to keep the van operational while I uh, step through this uh, this install. So I've got multiple stages that I'm going to go through. You know, stage one is I wanted to get the lithium, the new lithium battery in. Uh, then I'm going to remove the battery box and these batteries, uh, rewire the, the uh, uh, bus bars to go on the back of the sofa kickboard uh, and then move and then final install the two two uh, uh, lithionics batteries in this space so in effect what i'll end up with is right now you get 200 amp hours of these these batteries if the pleasure way came uh, put in really cheap uh, chinese lithium batteries uh, no temperature uh, protection on these on these at all and that's why pleasure way put out that uh, 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 disconnect switch up here uh, because if um, if you're below freezing and you come in here and start the car or start the van uh, the if you're charging those batteries from the alternator below freezing you're going to damage the batteries so they had to put this manual disconnect in so that you could protect the batteries <laughs> before you operate it in, in uh, freezing weather. That's not the case now with the uh, Lithionics. It has uh, temperature protection and a heater built in, so you can operate this in below freezing uh, weather. The only thing I did with the Lithionics is added this battery disconnect. Since I'm gonna be doing more work on the battery system, uh, I wanted a way of just hard disconnecting this, this battery from this, the van circuits. So it makes it easier for me to work with. So I'm gonna button this up because we're about to take off for a short trip. I wanted to get this this in place. We'll do some tests, uh, load tests on the road, see how, how well it, it works and also see how the charging system operates that we've got installed so far. So the wiring of this uh, battery was pretty simple once I got everything set up uh, you know, th through the DC-DC charger uh, install. Uh, we got the tube, the uh, positive bus bar, and the shunt negative. So what I did was I just uh, 
hook the positive to the positive bus bar uh, right here, negative to the, uh, effectively the, the negative bus bar shunt connection here. And these just positive loops around and just connects into the positive there. And the negative loops around and comes up and connects here. So leads are a little long right now. I wanted to leave space to move the battery around as I reconfigure this area. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence of what the, what the next step is. It'll either be replacing the uh, Progressive Dynamics charger with the Xantrex or the uh, soft start for the air conditioner so I can get this power in my uh, air conditioner this summer. That might take a higher priority. I don't know. I'm going to go figure that out.